Welcome back to Mrs. Rundown, in today's video I am going to be recapping the events of Scarface, a 1984 crime-slash-drama film. Spoilers ahead. You have been warned. Now like the video and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy this video. In 1980, Cuban refugee and ex-convict Tony Montana arrives in Miami, Florida, as part of the Mario Boatlift, where he is sent to a refugee camp with his best friend Manny Ray and their companions Angel and Chi Chi. The four are released and given green cards in exchange for murdering a former Cuban general at the request of Miami drug lord Frank Lopez. They become dishwashers at an eatery, but a dissatisfied Tony proclaims that he is meant for bigger things. Frank's right-hand man, Omar Suarez, sends the four to purchase cocaine from Colombian dealers. The deal goes badly, however, when Tony and Angel get captured, Tony is forced to watch as Angel gets killed when the dealers dismember him with a chainsaw, shortly before Manny and Chi Chi manage to rescue Tony. They then kill the Colombians. Suspecting that Omar set them up, Tony and Manny insist on personally delivering the recovered drugs and money to Frank. During their meeting, Tony is attracted to Frank's trophy wife, Elvira. Thereafter, Frank hires Tony and Manny. Later on, Tony reunites with his mother and younger sister Gina, the latter of whom he is overprotective. Disgusted by his life of crime, his mother throws him out. Manny is attracted to Gina, but Tony tells him to stay away from her. Frank sends Tony and Omar to Cochabamba, Bolivia, to meet with cocaine kingpin Alejandro Sosa. During the meeting, Omar is unhappy when Tony negotiates a deal without Frank's approval. Sosa later claims to Tony that Omar is a police informant and that Frank has poor judgment. Tony witnesses a beaten Omar hang from a helicopter. Tony, unbothered by Omar's execution as he blames him for Angel's death, vouches for Frank's organization. Sosa, taking a liking to Tony, agrees to the deal in turn, but not before warning Tony never to betray him. Back in Miami, Frank is infuriated by Omar's demise and the unauthorized deal struck by Tony. Soon enough, Tony starts his own independent cocaine operation. At a nightclub, Mel Bernstein, a corrupt police detective on Frank's payroll, attempts to extort money from Tony in return for police protection. Tony spots Gina fraternizing with a man and beats them both when he sees him grope her. Hitmen then attempt to assassinate Tony, who ends up getting wounded but manages to escape. He confronts Frank and Bernstein, certain that they orchestrated the attack. Frank confesses his involvement at gunpoint and begs for his life, but Tony has Manny shoot him dead before proceeding to execute Bernstein afterwards. Tony soon marries Elvira and becomes the distributor of Sosa's product, using his profits to build a multi-million dollar business empire and construct a large, heavily guarded estate. In 1983, a sting operation by federal agents results in Tony being charged with tax evasion with an inevitable prison sentence. Sosa offers to use his government connections to keep Tony out of prison, but only if Tony assassinates an activist intending to expose Sosa's drug operations. During dinner at an upscale restaurant, Tony accuses Manny of causing his arrest and Elvira of being an infertile junkie. Elvira ultimately leaves him. Tony travels to New York City to carry out the assassination with Sosa's henchman, Alberto, nicknamed The Shadow, who plants a radio-controlled bomb under the activist's car. However, when the activist is unexpectedly accompanied by his wife and children, Tony tries to call off the hit. Shadow refuses to back down, and Tony ends up killing him before he can detonate the bomb. Tony returns to Miami, where an enraged Sosa calls him to promise retribution for allowing the activist to deliver the expose. Tony, at his mother's behest, tracks down Gina and finds her with Manny. In a fit of rage, Tony shoots Manny dead, after which Gina tearfully tells Tony that they were married the day before. A distraught Tony returns to his estate with Gina, and begins a massive cocaine binge in his office. Moments later, Sosa's men begin to invade the estate and kill all of Tony's guards. Chichi is killed in the ensuing attack. As this happens, Gina accuses Tony of wanting her for himself and shoots at him. One of Sosa's men then kills her and is in turn killed by Tony. With assassins outside his office, Tony turns a grenade launcher equipped rifle on them, mowing down many. 
Tony is repeatedly shot by the remaining attackers, but continues to taunt them until he is fatally shot from behind by Sosa's right-hand man, the skull. Tony's corpse then falls into a fountain below, in front of a statue with the inscription The World Is Yours, a message Tony had seen earlier displayed on the side of an advertising blimp. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of these movie summaries. It really helps the channel out.